Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I thought I'd come in here, and I have another video. I, I wanted to share my little, my, my collection of one of my favorite prog bands, and it's the band Marillion. And so I hope you will enjoy this video. So hopefully I'm still good and focused to go here. Um... Marillion is a British progressive band. Yes, they are, some consider them to be neon prog, and that's fine. Sometimes I refer to them as smooth prog, and I really, really enjoy their music. Sorry, I've got a lot of things racing through my head, but I wanted to jump on here and share my collection. I don't have a, a large collection on vinyl, um, but you know, I'm su soon, I'm sure soon one day I will. I have some of my records, uh, of Marillion in the background here, albums that I love. So I wanted to share my collection. We might be going through this pretty quick of what I have and what, um, on CD. And so here we go, folks. And this is the album that led or got me into the music of Marillion, uh, Misplaced Childhood. I do have to be honest, um, it took me a little while to get into them. And I, I, don't, know, I don't know why, but it just did. Um, Misplaced Childhood is one of my favorite albums. And one couple of the songs that I do really, really like is Kaylee and Lavender. I really like a lot of their music when I just want to get away from a lot of ne uh, ne uh, negativity in the world. And so their music helps me to escape that. And um, next I have on CD is Script for a Gesture's Cheer. Now this one right here, I wouldn't mind getting that really cool, super uh, deluxe version of this. The one with the Stephen Wilson um, mix done to it. I love that one. Don't have, I think it's their second album. And, and it escapes me right now what the title of that one is. This is really, really good. I have uh, B-Sides, um, which has a, a real long version of, uh, hopefully I say this correctly, Grindo, Grindo, but yeah, or something like that. Has a one live track on here. This is really, really good. I, I enjoy having this on CD. I was looking at eBay and this one is pretty expensive to get. Going back to the album again, um, Misplaced Childhood. I forgot to mention, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of proggers know this. Hello out there, proggers. Maybe some will drop by and leave me a comment, but um, that it was a concept album. I don't remember all the details about it, but the, yeah, it is. It's one of my favorites. I listened to it today again before I made this video and another one of their albums. So um, next is a uh, Seasons End, which features uh, a new vocalist. I don't remember why Fish uh, left, or maybe he was told by the band to make an exit. The new singer on this uh, that took um, is a gentleman by the name of Steve Hogarth. Hopefully I said that correctly. If not, I apologize. But I like I like this album. This one has one of my favorite tracks on here called um, Easter. It's really, really good. Um, there is a bonus track on here called After Me that I like. And I like the beginning track, The King of Sunset Town. Really good. Here's the back cover of it. I'll show the inside of this one. Because I like what they do inside of some of these Marillion, these labels on here. They stick to their really neat font of their name. I like Seasons In. Next, I have Holidays in Eden, which um, has a little bit more popness to it. And in the UK, it hit number seven on the charts. This one's on IRS records. So... And maybe somebody out there who knows a lot about Marillion, I really don't. 
know a lot of details or stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of gotten lazy as I got older and don't do enough research, mainly because I just listen to the music that I love. And um, this one right here, uh, let's see here on my notes. One of my favorite tracks on here is the tune that is called uh, Collection. Yeah, Collection is really good. It's short. Some popness going on in here. But what I was going to say is, I noticed that the later uh, Marillion albums, the newer ones, are very expensive on CD. And I don't know if it's because they don't have a distributor here in the U.S. or what, what but they seem to like the only way to get them it's through the UK or some Europe, somewhere in uh, Europe. So I haven't got albums like Fear and I think it's called Don't Be Afraid of the Dark or something like that. I don't have those, but hopefully I will one day. Now, this next one is another favorite of mine. I love this album. I, I kind of compare it to Genesis' um, I Can't Dance album because of the way it's so calm, relaxing. The music is real smooth. I love the way that the guy sings kind of like a haunting vocal and, um, and then a prog magazine, this was uh, out of 100 albums. This was number 90 and I'm referring to Marillion afraid of sunlight. This is one of my favorites. I love this album. This one right here says made in Holland, but originally this was going to, this was a, a um, the original cover idea. Now you can get that real, there's like a CD box set of that and they use that as the cover for that. Now I have another copy and the reason that I have this one is because it comes with a bonus disc with some really incredible, I love these bonus tracks, especially the demo version of Afraid of, of Light. But yeah, this is one of my, this is one of my go-to albums right there from Marillion. Um, the next is um, This Strange Engine. Marillion, this is another good record. Um, one of my favorite tracks on, this is, this is really, okay, here's my note to myself. I just looked down and read it. This is where I started with Marillion too. Before I got Misplaced Childhood, I, I remember now buying this first, and it's because of the really cool artwork. So it was sort of a blind buy in a way, but I had listened to some of their music on YouTube. But this is just one of my favorite um, albums. And I'm not sure, but I think there's a double disc of it. But I'm, I'm okay with this right now. Memory of Water, Hope for the Future, this Strange Engine, 80 Days. Those are just killer tracks. Okay, this is where I started. Next, um, this one has a little bit different of instrument tones to it. It's, I like it, okay? This is a uh, Radiation. I love the artwork on this one. This one comes with a couple of really good uh, uh, bonus tracks on here too. As you can see right here and see this is what I'm talking about right here there's a seems to be a lot of different distributors for them so I don't know if that has anything to do uh, why there are CDs or the later ones are it um, are pretty pricey this next one I I'm, I've never been able to say this one but <laughs> I remember buying this and, and thinking, you know, those little characters on there remind me of South Park. I don't know why, but this album is, it's, it's really, it's, I like it. It's different. It's funk, a little trip hop, blues, jazz, and some dub. This one, the one that I can't say. And they made a few other albums where they have these characters on there. And I just, this is, I like this album. I do. And, um, Looking at this, I don't think this comes with any bonus tracks, but it's a really good sounding CD. Not everything is brick wall, so that's good. Not everything is brick wall. I hear people go, oh yeah, those CDs are brick wall. I wonder, did you really listen to them? I don't know. This next one has got like, if I can compare it to another band, this next album is really good. It's another one of my favorite, and I like the artwork. Okay. Um, 
this album right here uh, has a little sound like Coldplay in a way. Bands like that. This is uh, their album Somewhere Else, which the album cover reminds me a little bit of a Weather Report album cover in a way. But I love the this cover and I love the back right here. This is a really good album. I love the music on here. It has some popness and some really cool prog vibes in it. It's it, it's good. I, I like it. I, I got it real cheap. I remember that. Now, I'm going to show... Uh, I have a few of uh, albums by Fish, and his CDs are pretty pricey, so I was glad to get these. These were all... One of them was about a couple of bucks. These other ones, I could not believe them. I found them for a buck. And so, somewhere in the late 80s, I do know this, Fish left the band Marillion. So I have uh, Virgil in a Wilderness of Mirrors. This is really good. I like this. Then for a couple of bucks at another record store, I picked up this CD single, which is a song on this album. If you can see it on there, State of Mind. I picked up this really cool CD single of State of Mind. It's got that Marillion vibe to the cover. This has a State of Mind album version. Uh, I like to watch the Voyeur, or however you say that, and a presidential mix, State of Mind. I think Fish is into some politics. But this is really, really, a, I like this CD single. I, I play that one quite a bit, too. And the last Fish um thing that I have on CD is Internal Exile. Haven't played this in a while, but I, I remember liking it. And this is an I, I think this is another really good one to have on the collection. I was looking at this and this was like really pricey with shipping. Comes out to over 30 bucks. And it wasn't a new copy either. It was used one. So I'm gonna hang on to mine because I found mine for one buck at a flea market. So yeah, this is really good songs like Shadow Play, Just uh, Good Friends, Favorite Stranger, Dear Friend. I, I like titles with the friend in the title. You know, like Led Zeppelin's Friends or You Got a Friend in Me. I I don't know why. I, I don't know. Is that being sentimental? I don't know. But folks, that's my CD collection of uh, my Marillion CDs. If you're a fan out there, leave me a comment. I, I am trying to see about getting a copy of Brave. I don't have that one and some other ones. But, you know, that's like I said later on down the line. Drop me a comment and hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching this video. Take care.